Us with some insight is attorney Van Johnson. Van, good to see you once again. And let's start with uh, the jury's decision. Uh, were you uh, surprised at how quickly they came back? Good morning, Deanna. Mike uh, answered no, I wasn't. Uh, over the course of two days, nearly 11 hours, it's not exactly a quick verdict. But uh, as we talked about uh, yesterday, I think the evidence, uh, the prosecutorial evidence was overwhelming. And clearly the jury got it got it big and and again having so many officers not just from Minneapolis but from all over the country coming in and saying testifying against the, the former officer this is not good police work this is not your training was just so overwhelming and so different than uh, what we've seen before so this jury absolutely got it got it big and sent a very strong message guilty 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 yesterday guys yeah, and I mean, what was your reaction when you heard that, you know, for all three counts? I mean, there was conversations that, you know, maybe one wouldn't hold or this one wouldn't hold, but guilty on all three. You know, what was your reaction for that? Well, very candidly, uh, this is justice. So when I hear a jury verdict, I, I, I don't take any great joy in, in knowing that someone's going to prison about anything. But I, I will say I, I felt relief. I felt like justice was served, and again, a first big step, but a step, and we need to go a lot longer, or farther than we're, we're at. But I did feel that the evidence, I watched a lot of the trial, we've read stuff, but no one's, nothing like being in the courtroom, right, Tracy? But uh, the, the fact of the matter is, uh, th this jury sent a huge message, and now Judge Cahill has got a big job, the next step of justice. You all saw yesterday, they put him in cuffs and took him to prison. And Tracy will tell you that's called remanding. He was out on bond. And if it was anybody else but a police officer, they would have cuffed him and take him right off to jail, just like they did yesterday. So they treated him like they would anybody else. I give Judge Cahill credit for that. And I, I personally believe that Judge Cahill is going to find some aggravating factors and end up giving a highly significant sentence here, guys. And Van, a uh, last question for you. Does this send a message to for you know, cases, you know, unfortunately that may happen down the road, very similar to this? I, I would certainly hope so. We've needed to hear this message as a society for decades, guys. I've heard uh, a, a percentage yesterday, and I can't confirm or deny it, 2% of cases, 2% of homicides, people resulting in death, unarmed, ever get charged. We talked about how that was so different in this case. And what we got to send a message to our police that no one's above the law. And if you break the law, like clearly was broken here, you're going to be held accountable criminally and then more what I do civilly as well. Very well, we good. appreciate your time this morning. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. All right. And of course, that